Warriors, come out and play. All my light bearers out there, I see you shining, shining bright. This is your boy Lone Star. Um, in this video, I want to touch on the subject that all men are warriors. Even if you haven't tapped in to that warrior inside of you, trust me, he's in there. All right. All men are warriors. And in life, everything in the universe is a war. The successful warrior, the victorious warrior, wins the battle first and then goes to war. The defeated warrior goes to war seeking to win. So you got to look within. You got to do soul searching. Because the battlefield is of the mind. Almost everything is psychological. When you step out into the dating arena, that's psychological warfare. There's an old song called Mind Games, all right? Bunch of mind games, man. I forget who it was. I don't know if it was Drake, but had a song, and it was like, you gotta be the LeBron James of mind games. You know what I'm saying? But the point I'm trying to make is, it's psychological, okay? Uh, Mike Tyson said that or it was said of Mike Tyson that he had his opponents defeated before the first bell even rang. So that's how you need to approach life. You need to win it first up here. You need to get your mind right. Get your train of thought on the right track and go full steam ahead. Don't let nothing stop you. If you're a light bearer, if you're letting your light shine bright, what is a laser? A laser is focused light. You could actually cut steel with a laser. A laser is precise. Be precise in what you do, what you set out to do. Be focused. So that's the difference between a laser and just your average light bulb, okay? Whereas it's everywhere, you know? But a laser, man, that could cut through steel. So if you focus your light, you could cut through any obstacle that stands in the way of you reaching your goals. But it starts up here. The battlefield is of the mind. How a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. If you think that you're an asset, if you value yourself, if you love yourself, other people will view you as an asset. Other people will appreciate you. If you believe that you're successful, if you believe that you got what it takes, those thoughts will produce, those positive thoughts will produce positive emotions, which will result in the right actions to give you positive results. But it all starts up here. Now here's the thing. What semen retention does is it gets you thinking with this head and not with that head. All right, because if you're thinking with this head, if your root chakra is blocked and that sexual energy isn't rising up, okay, then not only is your overall appearance, aura, and presence going to be smaller versus if you were retaining and allowing that sexual energy to build your aura, your presence, your, it, you just, you're out of this world, so to speak, man. Your energy speaks volumes. But like I said, in life, most battles are psychological. And if you're thinking with this head and not this head, 
people are going to take advantage of you because this isn't the one that wins the battles. So this is a distraction. This gets you sidetracked, right? There's a time and place for everything. You know, uh, sex is a beautiful thing created by God. It was a gift from God. Overall purpose was to create life. And the Bible says, be fruitful and multiply. See, nowadays, if we're honest with ourselves, guys, come on, let's be honest. When we lay with a woman, the last thing we're trying to do, the majority of us, the last thing we're trying to do is get her pregnant. That's like, that's like the thing we're trying our hardest not to have happen. I mentioned this in one of my other videos, Elon Musk. I'm sure you guys know who Elon Musk is. Most people respect him. He's a very smart, intelligent man. Sending rockets to space stuff, man. Uh -huh. They actually have him on video stating, and this is his opinion, but I have to say I agree with him on this, that it is futile. It's quite ridiculous when you think about how people are just having sex just for the act of self, not trying to procreate. And then... When you know about semen retention, there's no excuses because once you have the knowledge and the understanding of the benefits, and if you were to use your sexual energy rather than squander it and transmute it, you too could be sending rockets into space, so to speak. You know, uh, maybe that's not your calling. However, You'll find out what is. So, but it all starts up here. You have to get out of thinking with this. Allow your vibration to rise. Start thinking with the head on top of your neck. And see yourself winning. Again, the victorious warrior. Wins the battle first and then goes to war. The defeated warrior goes to war seeking to win. You got to defeat your opponents before you ever throw the first punch. Or before that gun goes off to the race. You got to see it. And a lot of it has to do with practicing. You know, so... What's your daily routine like? Are you managing your time? Are you setting aside time to hone your skills? Are you allowing your sexual energy to build so that you could transmute it and use it to your advantage rather than have Women use your energy to their advantage. As men, we project. Women receive. Just think about the act of sex for a second. For the most part, men project. And women receive so as a man what are you putting out there what are you telling yourself because what you tell yourself and how you treat yourself is going to determine what you're projecting and if you're wearing a mask people aren't going to see the real you. So it's going to hinder what you are supposed to project or what you're trying to project. And most women won't receive it. To all my light bearers out there, stay shining, keep retaining, stay grinding, all right? Strengthen yourself mentally. And the rest will follow. 
pray, meditate, manage your time, self-care, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.